Hi, hello guys, welcome to my live stream. How you all doing? I hope you're doing great guys. Today is July 11th. Thank you and welcome to my live stream right here in Portland, Oregon. Uh, guys, if you are able to hear me and see me fine, could you please put something on the uh, description on the uh, on the chat box so I know that everyone is uh, here. Uh, I'm so happy guys, I'm so happy. Okay, so I have two people, welcome. So please tell me who you are and give me likes. Hello, 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 guys. Let me just add, adjust the camera one second. Hold on. Let's see. I just want to get a better. I just want to get straight this, this straight because I don't want to be uh, kind of lost. Hi, Marina. How are you, darling? Hi, Colleen. Colleen, is that how you, uh, how you say it? Collegian? Hi, all things cute. Cassie, hello. Hi, Val. Welcome, everyone. I'm so happy you're here. Yes. Guys, today it's so hot in Portland, Oregon. It's like uh, I'm opening the windows uh, on, on this room. So if you hear traffic going by, uh, please um, don't pay attention today. Uh, we have central air and the house, the first floor is okay. But where the bedrooms are upstairs, uh, it's very warm. So I don't know what to do, you know. It's like it's very hard to sleep. But, you know, we'll manage. How is everybody doing? Hi, Diamond Point Creations. Hello, honey. Is that your name? Okay, so let me just have some water because it's very dry also in here. So today I'm wearing this tie-dye shirt, guys, because I, I just figured, you know what? It, it, it's very hot and sunny in Portland. I might as well just you not know, just go with the weather. Okay. So let me show you the tie-dye. Look at this, I got this amazing, I paid $6 for this, okay? Look. So, yes, hi Jackie. Okay guys, so today I'm gonna talk about, uh, I'm so excited because I, I was able to get a hold of the, uh, of this uh, LCS uh, week uh, series from Jeff Stanley. I don't know if you guys know about it, but Jeff Stanley started a company, it's called uh, West Sound Candle Supply. And he put he put out this um, this sampler uh, of of different wigs. I was able to get the, uh, all all of them to, uh, like uh, the sampler package. So I got them a couple of days ago. And as you know, I've been uh, wig testing for my candle line. So I was testing uh, I was testing the uh, the wooden wigs. Um, I don't like them. I didn't like the way they uh, they perform on my candles. You know, wooden wicks are very tricky for me. I have not been able to be, uh, have, uh, how you call it, uh, a good burn from them, you know. First of all, I don't like the sound they make. They, they sound like fire. I mean, personally, I don't like that. And then I just didn't like the, the way they burn, you know. it's uh, So I don't know for me. So then I started using uh, the CDM wicks from 1617.com. So what I did is I used, uh, CDN tools for this, for the smaller jars, for this container. So I use a double wick, uh, two CDN tools for this. And then I use, for this container, for this container, I use two CDN wicks, which is what, what uh, they were recommending on the website. Well, um, they were too much. You know, that's why, you know, it's, 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 such, it's, it's so tricky, guys, when you are uh, uh, testing something, because I noticed it's very important, guys, when you uh, do double wick or triple wick, and uh, you have to consider safety, you know, um, by putting the double wick in here, guys, I noticed that the, uh, the vessel was getting very hot, very warm, and, you know, and as the candle burns down, uh, it gets uh, hotter and hotter and hotter because it consumes more, uh, I mean, you have more glass, you know, so, I don't like that. I don't feel safe selling that kind of product, you know. Even though this is very strong glass and it's made to withhold a lot of uh, big temperatures, I just don't feel safe. So that's why when I got the LCS wigs, guys, I love this. And let me show you why. Hi, Henrietta. Hi, Angie, Angel. Okay, so these are the wigs. So let me read to you what... Uh, a little bit about them. Okay, uh, this, uh, our candle wick offers uh, the rigidity of zinc, 
without the metal wire. This product line gives candle makers their independence from using zinc core, uh, core wicks. This is, this is an all fiber wick. It has the rigidity of a thing, a thin core. Yes, it's very rigid, as you can see, you know, without any wire or paper in the core. Okay, it says the core is a specially treated fiber that completely cons cons consumes. Okay, so it doesn't have any residue. Since the core of this advanced wick consists of fibers and not metal, it does not leave behind the unsightly metal wire protruding from the flame as it burns. The wick stays straight during the candle fill and more importantly, during the burn. This wick is an excellent choice for container candles. Okay, this is what I love about this, guys. I love it because it stays straight like this when it's burning. Uh, the flame is beautiful. Let me show it to you. So this, these are the two candles that I'm gonna be using for my line. This one is a tobacco-based candle, and this one has an LCS 100. And this one is my flower candle, my flower-based candle, and this one I'm using an LCS 80. Uh, you go when you when you go and look at the website, which I'm gonna link below. It's uh, the website name. Let me show it to you so you can. Can you see the website name? The measurement of the black vessel is a three inch, 3.75 inches. So that's why I decided to use, this one is 3.75 and this one is a three and a quarter inch diameter. So I, I put, so let me show you how, how they burn, they're beautiful guys. I love the flame and I, lo I like that they are very thick Weeks. Hi, Chantel. Welcome. Angel, hi. From New York. Okay, do you see? Can you see the flame? How elegant it looks. It looks very chic, very expensive, makes the candle look very uh, high end, okay? It's not like a, a very flimsy flame. You know, this one has like a, has like a sexy body, you know? So it, it combines, uh, I think it's everything on, on a week. So let, let me do the other one. And I have to say guys, the HT that I get is amazing. Okay, so this one is the three, 3.75 wide uh, diameter. This is the tobacco base. Look at this beauty. Isn't that beautiful? Yes, sexy body, sexy flame. It matches my, my shirt, huh? Yes. Okay. So I'm gonna leave them in here, guys. So you can see them. Let me just put them to the side because I, I wanna show you my other candles. Okay, so as you know, I'm working on the formulation for my candle line. Soy Bliss all the way. Soy Bliss is my favorite uh, wax, guys. I love it. It's just, it gives me such good results all the time. So I made three new candles, guys. Uh, I made them yesterday, so I'm not expecting any CT from this. I mean, it's only, it's only been one day, but may, you know what? Maybe I'm, I'll get surprised. So I put them in this box and I decided to make full candles this time. Okay. So this one is tobacco based also. Oh my God. Okay. This one is my tobacco base, guys. And I use the uh, the two uh, oils that I have in here and I added something else. Oh my God. It's, I get the shields. 
because I know this is gonna be my heat candle. Oh my God, it's beautiful. You know, and look at the tops. Look at how soft soy bleed tops. Perfection. And I'm using an LCS 80 on this candle. Oh my God, this is beautiful, guys. It's so beautiful. If I, if I get this strong of a smell in only one day of being cured, can you imagine two weeks? And, and I'm not using 10%, 10 I'm using 8% fragrance load. 8%, so you're saving in, uh, in money in fragrance oils. Oh my God, this is, smells so expensive, guys. I love it, so I'm gonna put it back. Actually, I'm gonna leave it out so you can see it. Okay, the next candle. Guys, stop me, do you have any questions for me? Any questions? Uh, hola, Marena. My sister is in there too. Her name is Maria Ponte. Hi, Mari. Okay, let's see. The next candle that I have, this one is beautiful. This one is. Okay, this is my flower candle. Let's see how it smells. Oh my God. Okay. This is based on this candle, and but I added two secret ingredients. I added two secret ingredients, and one of them is vanilla. So I'm gonna give that away for you guys. If you wanna make something ma smell romantic, sexy, uh, smoke vanilla from the flaming candle, just add a touch of that in any of, the, of your florals, guys. It's gonna give you like, high-end quality candles. Oh my God. I'm, I'm planning to start my candle line between four and five different scents, you know? So this is amazing. And it's only been one day. And again, I use only 8% fragrance low on this. Okay, beautiful. I'm just leaving it in here. I'm so happy, guys. I'm so happy. It's like everything is, everything is coming on together. You know, I've been making candles almost a year now and I've been testing hundreds of boils and I've been, I spent so much money in wax, different waxes and testing every, in every kind of uh, wooden wig or single wigs. And you know, when it comes, as you evolve in your knowledge and your experience and you, you try combining oils because now you have more knowledge. And when you get this stage of the game that I am right now, I'm just testing these high quality candles. I'm just so happy that I did not launch before. Things happen for a reason, guys. Okay, this last candle. Oh, this is a brand new candle. This is gonna be my aromatherapy candle. Uh, it's rosemary base. Oh, my God. It's beautiful. I took, I'm gonna give you two ingredients on this one, okay? Rosemary, sage, and white tea. Those are my, the two ingredients for this candle. Try mixing those two uh, ingredients, guys, for any aromatherapy candle. But I have two other secret ingredients to give uh, the rosemary a kick it. I'm gonna kick it up a notch, okay? Beautiful, 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 beautiful. And it's only been one day and the CT is amazing. So I cannot wait, I cannot wait. Okay, guys, any questions? Okay, Chantel, so you said, uh, so you have you have worked with soy bliss and you mix it with uh, cocoa apricot. How are the results on the HT when you, when you do that? Do you get the same HT as, uh, as you get it when, if it's plain? Uh, this, this gray is the same size as this. This comes from Candle Science. It's the ceramic uh, tumbler. It's very strong, I love it. It's very heavy, so it feels expensive. And that's another thing that I wanna let you know, guys. You know, when you buy your vessels, you know, if you buy a very light glass, like this, and I'll be right back, let me show you something. I'll be right back.
Okay, I'm back. Okay. Okay, and I'm, I'm gonna show you something. And this, and this by no means, guys. I'm trying to put shade on it, whoever does this, guys. But you know, some people like to use glasses like this uh, to make candles. Uh, be careful, guys, because this is very thin, you know, and it could break. And the last thing I want is a lawsuit. So be very careful, okay? This one, I, I, I use this to make samples and I give to people in my neighborhood in there so they can give me their opinion on how they like it and how they, you know, how can, how can I make it better? So, but to sell candles, I will not use such as a thin glass. Try to find something that is made for candles, you know, and yeah. And this is good. It's a very thick mason yard. It's a good uh, for the uh, heat resistance. So this, you know, this one is good to make, you know, mason yards. So yeah. So, so one thing that I'm very afraid is about uh, being, uh, having accidents. Okay, so Angel asking me, I usually do 10% fragrance loads when I do my candles uh, because I needed that strength on when I was using PB600 uh, wax, my other wax. And I, and I was also using Vibar 260 because that was the only way that I could get um, strong enough HD on my candles. We saw bleeds, I don't need that. I don't need to have any any additives. You know, it's 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 wonderful. So now what made me do 8% on this on this test is because from all the tests that I've done with soy bleeds before, I noticed that I get HD. Um, when I when I let, when I lit up the candle, I get the HD uh, from the beginning. Like I, it's very strong. And I figure, you know, to me, a candle, it's you not know, I want to give it time for the scent to develop. I think that, that if you light up a candle and it gives you like a such a strong HD right away, to me that's kind of a, a cheap candle. You know, I just, because you have to remember as the longer that it burns, the more stronger the smell gets. And it got to the point that I, I was even choking on the smell, on the scent. So that, that's why I decided to make them uh, with lower percentage, oil percentage. Okay, Chantel, so you bought the marijuana sample. Uh, that's something that I'm really running into, into problems using this, this wax also because I'm using it on, on my candles and it's very overpowering. That's why the marijuana scent, you have to be very careful. I mean, it's like, it's all on the ratio, guys. So I'm trying to use like the minimal, you know, because it's really like, uh, it could be very overpowering. So you have to be careful and just do a lot of testing when you're using that, that, uh, that oil. And uh, I also wanna show you two of, my, of, the, of the oils that I love that I'm gonna be using on my candles. Okay, this is the only oil, and I'll show you this before. This is my favorite scent from Wooden Wicks Company. This is the only one that I've been able to uh, get a decent HD, beautiful HD, but you have to mix it with something else. And for a lot of you guys that have asked me what's my favorite tobacco scent, it's this one here, Tobacco Manila from Candletown Supplies. This, I think this is tops. For me, this is my favorite one. I need to buy more because as you can see, I'm, you know, it's, I'm running low, but like I'm telling you guys, what I'm doing now is I'm, I'm fine tuning my formulations once I get to a point that I say, okay, I love this, uh, I'm gonna give it to people around me here in my neighborhood, and I'm gonna ask them, do you like this? Will you buy, will you buy something like this? And then I'll wait for their uh, feedback, and then I'm just gonna just start uh, making the candles. Yes. Uh, what is the ratio in soy bliss? Soy to paraffin, they don't give you that. It's uh, it's uh, the 16, it's 16, 17, Secret formulation. Uh, well, they say the description is it's almost all uh, soy with a hint of food grade paraffin. So supposedly it's a very minimal amount of food grade paraffin, meaning you can eat it, and it won't kill you. You know, uh, so you know, guys, in everything, uh, like people that, that look for to make like um, all natural candle. Like I said on my videos, there's no such thing 
there's no such thing as uh, as a natural candle. You have to remember that soybeans get processed to uh, convert them into into wax, and as they go through the process, the chemical reaction, uh, it changes their um, the composition, you know, and so it's no longer natural because they also add additives to make it into a, into a wax. So you know, it's yeah, you could say that this is made from a natural soy bliss, a natural soy wax, but it's not really a hundred percent. And you also have to think, guys, uh, the fragrance oils uh, that you buy, like all these fragrance oils, they're not natural fragrance oils. They have to be combined with chem uh, chemicals in order to make this uh, work in the candles, you know? So that's that's the way I look at things when it comes to candles, you know? Like people are so afraid also, people are so afraid of, of paraffin and it's a very con a controversial, controversial uh subject so i don't want to get into drama but you know it's as long as you have a, a tiny bit of paraffin you know it's it's okay you know so everything has its place you know people a lot of people love 100 percent paraffin you know what if you love it go with it you know it's everybody there's a market for everything in in this life how did you see welcome yes any more questions, guys? Oh, yes, thank you. Please give me likes, guys. Guys, I need some, like, uh, some likes. So, guys, uh, what? Hi, Steph. Uh, I'm thinking about videos to make for the future, guys. Uh, give me some ideas, you know. It's uh, of sense that you want me to try. And, guys, a few of you told me that they were going to send me candles to my PO box for me to give you uh, my opinion. I, I've been going to my PO box and I haven't received anything. So if you do, so, if you want me to uh, give you my opinion, send me the candles and I give you. Uh, but let me know. Send me an email or send me a uh, DM on Instagram and let me know that you're doing that because uh, I don't go to my PO box every day. I have to drive to get to, to get to get there. So just let me know. Okay, give me the heads up. Hi Maria, welcome. Okay, let's see what else I have for you guys. I think that's it. You know, let me... Oh, let me see. Hold on. Again, I cannot tell you again, guys, how happy I am. Hi, Mia. How happy I am ever since I started doing this for my formulas. You know, even my husband tells me, because my husband doesn't have that, um, that well of a uh, smell, you know? So by me putting them together like this and have them marinate for a couple of days. Uh, so when I go to, when I go to open uh, the container and, oh my God, this is amazing, guys. Wow. And he, tell, he tells me, Michael, this is a great idea. So, you know, Hola! So start doing this, guys. You know, get these containers from Amazon. I'm gonna link them below. I think I linked them on the video before. So try getting some of these, guys. You're gonna uh, you're gonna be very happy because you can always go back and refer to your different formulations without having to make a candle. Okay, that's why I have in here. These are all my testers that I have from different candles that I made. You know, so beautiful. So it's better to keep a file on this. Uh, Matthew likes what I like. He's not really that much into um, perfumes or scents or anything like that. You know, he, he's like a, he says to me, oh, I like that. He said, sometimes I get mad, guys, because I say, okay, you like this? But you have to tell me what you like about it. You know, is it too sweet? Is it too... Uh, is it too spicy? Is it too greenery? Uh, okay, uh, let's see. Yeah, so you know, so he's very plain like that. So I, it, all I want to know is whether he likes it or not. I go from there. So that's fine. Yeah, it's a typical guy. You know, it's like he doesn't care about fashion or anything like that. You know, like I'm the one that tells him, you know, oh, maybe you want to try this combination, and that's. You know, that's how it is. 
Yes. Okay, guys. And remember, guys, when whenever you want to make a beautiful floral candle, smoked vanilla from the flaming candle, you cannot go wrong. I need to find it. I put it somewhere. And let me see if I can find it, okay? I'll be right back. Okay, this one. This is amazing. I like it because the vanilla is not sweet. It's not sweet. It's, uh, I love the aroma of the, of the smokiness of the vanilla. <sighs> Very sexy. And this will make a beautiful, uh, also for if you want to make lotions, stuff like that, body lotions. I think this would be also ideal for, the, for that. So if you wanna make a, a good candle, one recommendation that I have, guys, mix these two of them together. And you're gonna get a wonderful candle. So I'm giving you my secrets, but you know what? Why not? I'm gonna share a little bit for, with you guys. Okay. Please, more likes. I, I see 24 people here and I only have 14. If you could give me more, I would really appreciate it, guys. Thank you so much. Okay, let's see. Any any questions, guys? Oh, I really want to make... Uh, do you guys know why does it make a difference when I cure a candle in a box versus if I put a plastic wrap on top, because I try curing these candles, putting a saran wrap or any kind of plastic, you know, um, but doing it in a box, it's amazing. I don't know what it is. Maybe because the box is small, you know, maybe because the, the box is small and it's and, and the darkness and I put it away in the closet. Maybe that has some, something to do about it. Maybe because uh, it has a ventilation. I don't know what it is, but I noticed the big difference when I use uh, the boxes like this to cure my candles for two weeks and it's great oh my god I love this so guys don't forget to uh, if you are thinking about getting these uh, weeks from from West Town Candle Supply don't forget to hurry up because they are selling out very fast uh, for for my candles that I'm going to be making, guys, that I'm using LCS 80 and LCS 100, I order 500 of each. So I order a pack of 500 and 500, okay? Because I want to make sure that I have enough. Uh, do you feel like you found a signature scent? Yes. Uh, the signature scent for my candle line is going to be Gardenia because that's what made me uh, go... That's what gave me the drive into going into this business. And that's the first candle that I uh, that I ever made. So I have a secret formulation for Gardenia. Uh, and that's gonna be my signature, uh, my signature uh, candle. Yeah. Yeah, guys, so I order. They're going fast, they're selling fast, guys. So if you go to the website, try to order them, you know, uh, but first uh, like, do like I did, you know, just follow the different the different size recommendations like he on, on his website if you go he, he writing here like the different sizes the different weeks you know so it has in here like the different you know so read about the different sizes and just get a couple of them you know it's you know so these are the different ones okay Oh, Maria Campo, let me show you, let me show you my, my room. This is a mess, a mess, okay? And let me show you guys. Look at the mess that I'm having here. I am not organized at all. Look at this, okay? Okay, what I'm having here, in there, and the closet,
So, you know, it's, it's, it's just that I don't have time to really organize, you know, it's, you know, it's really tough for me because you have to remember I have my other channel. A lot, I have my uh, Healthy Living with Michael. Guys, if you haven't seen my channel, check it out because I do, uh, I'm doing my car, my car vlogs every almost at least three times a week. And uh, I'll talk about, I have like different topics about uh, me dealing with uh, depression, me dealing with my day-to-day -day life, you know, and so you can see um, how I live here in Portland, my pets, my husband. So if, if you want to get to know me better, go to that channel, Healthful Living with Michael, uh, and it's always, it's linked down below in the description box. So yeah, why not? You know, check it out. Let's see. I know. Okay, so I have another studio upstairs. And that's uh, my beauty studio. That's where I do my uh, my get ready with me makeup tutorials that I do for, for the channel. And that's where I do my videos for, for my other channel also. I have a lot of uh, like these candles, like, like these empty vessels. I have them lined up over there because I'm, I started working on my labels and my labels are gonna be out of this world. I'm working on them, guys. So that's why I wanna get inspired by the vessels, you know, that's why I have a lot of them on, on, on the shelves. So I know, a label design, it's something that uh, is very important for your business. You know, it has to be made clear because you have to remember uh, we sell our stuff uh, online. So you have to make sure when you photograph your candles, that you do a great job, you know, and that your label is clear and people are able to read it, you know, and just the picture says a thousand words. So, you know, it's, it's very important to take uh, great pictures. So I'm going to give you, as I start doing my labels, I'm going to show you guys uh, how, what inspires me, uh, because I believe every label is going to be different depending on the, on the, on the scent, you know, of the candle. Oh, you're leaving? Oh, bye, Leticia. Take care. Okay, so Enrita's asking me, where am I planning to do my candle shop? Uh, my candle shop, uh, I'm going to sell online only. I don't have plans to sell um, yeah, in a store, you know, for now. Uh, you know, it's, well, to be honest, guys, you know, I'm not doing this for really... Uh, uh, to get an in to depend on an income, you know, it's yeah, this I'm retired, you know, and, and as you know, I'm a hairdresser, I'm a hairstylist, so I quit doing hair too because I got tired of uh, attitudes. So I'd rather just I'm doing this with love, you know, and just I'm not thinking about oh, I'm gonna be selling in this store, I'm gonna open a store here. So I'm I'm doing this from the heart. So I think I, that's why. I, I'm not rushed into putting out the candle, you know, yet, yeah, you know, it's, it's different for me. Okay. Yes. I'm, I'm planning to sell online. I'm not too sure about going Shopify. I, I, I would love to make a, 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 my own website so I don't have to depend on other people, you know, and we'll, we'll see about that, you know? Okay, guys, any questions? I know, I know, doing hair, you know what guys, to me, I believe you have to be born with uh, the virtue of uh, patience and I don't have patience, especially when you have to deal with people like have this expectation that they show you when, when they come to your salon and they bring you a picture, okay, I want my hair to be like this and everybody wants to have like silver hair or uh, or pink hair, or green hair, whatever, whatever it is. And they have fried hair. You know, it's, for you to say no to them, and then it, it's, it's too much drama, and I don't want drama in my life, you know? It's too much, yes. Uh, this whole room is, is my candle shack, yes. This is where I do candles. Oh, Angel, you are, very, you are, you are a saint. 
because I, you know, it's, you have to be born for that. So good for you. Okay, guys. So I think I'm going to leave the, uh, the last room here, guys. I'm going to be working on more of my kind of formulations and I'm going to be putting another video during the week. So guys, I hope you all, you all have a wonderful day, uh, a wonderful week and enjoy the weather, you know, and I'll see you uh, next Sunday. So I'll see you guys. Take care. Bye-bye. Yes. <laughs>